you drive them. You drive them? But yeah. you work for the state of New Hampshire? Yep. So what, what's the easy task cars do? What does DOT do? What do these cars for? Because I see them everywhere. That's it? And we're paying for that? Who's paying for it? Taxpayer? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> Talk to John Corcoran. Who's that? He's the administrator. Huh? So what's your job description though? Us? Yeah. You guys work for DOT? Did you just meet him over there? No, I never oh. seen him in, in my life. Oh. Any any press stuff it has to go through our administrator. Well, I'm talking to you as a public official. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You never read the eighth article of the state constitution? No. I suggest you do because yeah. you're required to answer all questions and be responsive at all times to the public. No, I get that. Yeah. That makes sense. I don't have to go through an office. I'm asking you what well, the car is for. It should be an easy question. You're an adult, right? Yes. Then answer the goddamn question. Well, not if you're going to swear at me. I didn't say, I didn't say you swear. I said goddamn. God personal opinion, but... Well, a word, a word doesn't define classes of people, so either you answer it or you don't. Well, my right, I don't have to, do Actually, I? Actually, yeah, you do. You don't, you have no expectation of privacy when you're a public official in the state of New Hampshire, period. Okay. You know that, right? So what the hell is the car for? You guys don't even know what your job description is, do you? You have no idea. You should talk to the public information officer. You know this is going to go on coplog.org that gets like 2.4 million views and you're just going to look like an idiot. So why don't you sound smart and just tell me what your job description is. Let's talk to your administrator. Oh, I was talking to you. What's your name, sir? Yeah. You could gladly go talk to our administrator. What's your name, man? Uh, I'm technically on break right now. Well, you're not Thank supposed you. to be smoking on state property, are you? I think that's a statue, isn't it? Yeah, we'll talk to the administrator since you guys are being uh, toddlers. By the way, I'm JP Freeman from Coplock.org. Nice to meet you. You as well. Jackass. Hey, Joan, is the administrator or manager here? J. J. P. Freeman from Coplock.org. Okay. Yeah. Well, and this is the this is being recorded, by the way. Since your employees don't know their names, they don't know their job description or what they drive. Yeah, they like to play dumb. Bureaucrats. Since they wanna. Be jerks, I'll take their wallet too. This would have been diffused as soon as they told me what the DOT cars were for. <laughs> Freeman from uh, New Hampshire Regional Coplock, coplock.org. I just walked up to two state officials to ask them what the car was for, and they like basically played dumb. They refused to give me their names, their job description, and they claimed they were on their break and they don't have to tell me anything. So that's basically why I came in. Hey, is anybody helping you folks? Yeah, I just wanted to talk to the administrator or a manager or a supervisor or something. I'm the toll collection manager. Okay, hi. And I'm JP. I'm JP Freeman from Coplock.org, and this is Ethan Glover from New Hampshire Regional Coplock. And uh, what is Coplock? Coplock is a is a press site. We yeah. go after corrupt officials, write stories on accountability of public officials, state police, police, local police. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you a card. Yes, please. Um, I walked up to two of your employees, state employees, and asked them what the DOT cars were for. And they like looked at me like deer in headlights. 
Okay. So I asked them their names, if you please to give me their names and answer any questions. Okay. So now I'm coming in and file a complaint because as a public official in the 8th article of the New Hampshire State Constitution, they're required to answer my questions. Now that would have been diffused. We would have been on our way and that would be like halfway back to the New Hampshire button. We're here dealing with a state police officer and an easy pass thing. I just saw him in the parking lot. I wanted to know what the DOT cars right, were for. All right, so hold on. Wait. We, need to, we need to slow down. Come on in. Yeah. Just show me on 915 for fingerprints. Wait, do you want to know what state the cars are for? Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to know what the DOT Easy Pass cars were for. That's all I wanted. Oh, wait, you're talking about the white cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the our state cars. Yeah. Okay, they just got an Easy Pass emblem on the side because of the turnpikes and Easy Pass. Yeah. So when They're I asked, all state. When I, when I asked the gentleman, the bald head gentleman with the vest, that he was smoking with a, a woman okay. over here next to Oh, he might. He might I, not be able to. I, I asked him. I asked him what he did and what his job description was. He goes, "Oh, we just drive to meetings." I'm like, "And we pay for that. The no. taxpayer pays for driving to meetings." I'm I'm thinking that first and foremost that we all just went through shooter training and all kinds of stuff. And if if did you properly identify yourself? Because honestly, right, it was like this in the lobby. It says passing correspondent. All right. So for me. Okay, I've been here 30 years. For me... I've been doing this 20. Okay, yeah. so when I first approached you in the lobby, I didn't know what I was dealing with. Or thank you. So if, when somebody's approached like that, mm -hmm. I think, first of all, their, hey, their what, reaction... Hey, what are these cars for? That's how I opened up. Oh, by the way, I'm J.P. Freeman from New Hampshire Regional Cop Right, and I, had to, and I had to stop you out in the man, lobby because I didn't under... you guys wouldn't survive in New York if your life depended on it, man. Right. Strong but I had to stop you back. With your tail between I had to ask you to back up because oh, I didn't right. know I, what your identification was. Wasn't ringing any bells well, for me. person doesn't need to, need to respond to you of who they are by asking a, a simple question about state, official, public. You're, you're required to respond whether I have a, credentials or not. So it doesn't matter if I'm all done. No, but it you. helps to know who we're talking with. I mean, when we have any kind of conversation, whether it's a person it, if from it's, the public, if it's administrative related, just answer the stupid question. It's not that not that hard. And they well, played hobball the whole time. And but they're all is, is, is it fair to say that You're basically sticking up for your employee? No, I'm not, no, I'm not. I'm not. I I am saying that it is reasonable for any a, a person who is approached with a question, especially caught caught off guard. What are these that, cars are for? Oh, wait, wait, let's just right. back up. Yeah. That's not this a just, really, really bad This question. is what we're going to do. We're going to back up. Because some people think the cars are for just to drive to meetings. They don't know. They don't own a car. They don't drive, you know, a car. You can ask, go ask a toll tent. They'll just say, Not everybody here work, is assigned a vehicle. So you come in here, you ask for me. I'm the administrator. I'll yeah. give you my car. Yeah. The cars I'll are for you, our I'll business. I'll give you mine, too. The cars are for our business. You know, that we... We have to drive to meetings. Sometimes we have to go to meetings with other public officials. Sometimes towns. Cities. Well, it was. It was it's all. It, that's what they're for. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about him. Saying and then the cars. The, I could tell you, majority of the cars are just parked here. They're pool. The, the, pool they're vehicles. pool cars that people are working here and have to go somewhere. They go and use them, or if not, you're paying a mileage to go. So that's okay, why see, they're the, here. Okay. See, the 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 reason why I came in. Okay, and this is usually just, the, the, the yeah. usually the situation everywhere. The thing is, you all know, as a public official, you have no expectation of privacy to the public. Period. Okay, so when somebody asks you a simple question like, "What are these cars are for?" Either you can answer, "I don't know anything about these cars," or you could say, "I don't have to answer anything. You, I'm on my break." And they're smoking on state property, which I'm pretty sure they're not. No, like we have rules. We have rules. Fifty feet away from the building. Yeah. yeah. We'll have yeah, to measure cool. it. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. It's, it's I'm kidding. I'm not gonna measure it. Fifty feet away from the building. I'm just yeah. messing with you. But 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 you know to to diffuse the situation, they should have gave as much information as they know, and it would have been diffused. That's it. probably all they know. They told you it's for meetings. They drive right. to meetings, and then I asked them what their job description was. But maybe maybe they don't have a car. Some people. Do they have a job description? Well, they have well, a what's job the, description, what's the, what's but the, they don't know if they can tell everybody their job description. They're a state official. They most certainly have to. Well, Do, don't, hey, hey. Every, everybody that gets employed knows the Eighth Amendment of the state constitution. I don't know the Eighth Amendment of the state you don't. constitution. You so, don't. The Eighth Article of the state constitution. I don't need to know it. I don't need to know it. Well, you should. Worry. You're an administrator. I don't, I don't, I'm fine. Don't you have worry. to be open and responsive yeah. to the public we, at all we times. We do, and that's why we're talking to you. Okay. I don't need to know the Eighth Amendment and all that stuff. Why not? 
I can't. I know. That, that's the Why fundamentals of being a, a citizen of the state of New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Right, it, but it most, be, but most citizens different. and even public yeah. officials can't recite it word yeah. for word. So You're very you practiced in cars? it. What's that? What do you want to know about the cars? So do you, are they assigned to a particular person? You already said they They're weren't. Like cool cars. Some of them are. Some of them are. Like the engineers. And so why, did, why does it say Easy Pass on the side? Because if it's New Hampshire, Easy Pass. It's, you know, like you can go through the toll plazas yeah. and if you've got an Easy Pass, we yeah, run Yeah, I easy understand pass. the Easy Pass. Yeah, we I, run I Easy know, Pass. I, I know that it's a, it's a separate company out of Jersey and, it, and it's a private company. I just want to know why there's a private company on a they, state company. Oh, no. No, I'm trying no, to just put it no, together. No, it's not a private company. No. That's, what you just, that's what she just said. Who? The lady in the uh, trailer said yeah. it's a private company. She works for a private company out of... New Jersey, and they're called Xerox. Easy Pass is a it's an interagency group, yes. and it's regionally with um, it okay. starts up in Maine, goes yep. all the way over to Chicago, yep. Illinois, goes all the way down to Maryland, and it's a whole interagency group of all of us states and toll agencies that work together. That where you have an Easy Pass here, you can drive to Maine, and your account gets charged, or you drive down to Maryland, and account gets charged, and it's a group that. It's a non-profit. They're not making money, but it's we've got these specs and everything that we have, so exchanging okay. the so funds all and all that stuff. So information flows well yeah. between states, so you can hop on the turnpike here, head down to Florida, and every place that says. Well, not Florida. Pass. Okay, cause no, so no, because when you get to Florida, you got sunspot. You got another. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a yeah, different yeah. type of system. So and easy all pass together. is us. It's turnpikes. It's the DOT. Okay. We're part of it. And, it's and you're the Easy Bureau Pass. of Turnpikes. You're the Bureau of Turnpikes. Right. And, and We're the only ones that deal with yeah. Easy Pass. Gotcha. So yeah. that's right. why And that's why there. they're on the cars. And, and you're saying yeah, your employees don't know any of that information whatsoever. Oh, I bet you there's some that don't. There's some, if somebody who works in Easy Pass can probably tell you that, but some other people probably can't. You go up to them. So the two people that just came in here, who are they? What do they do? I don't. Um, I'm not sure who you spoke with. I don't know. I didn't see them. So. Oh, okay. But there are people in this building that might not be able to tell you the whole thing of Easy Pass. They just think Easy Pass is turnpikes, but they might not understand. They have their Easy Pass transponder that they can drive around. So but how, they don't know. How, how long you been doing this? Uh, seven years. Or seven. for administrator? Yeah. No, only uh, last August. Last August. For the administrator, well, but he's been, been assistant administrator for, for seven, seven eight, eight years. years. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, I appreciate your time. Oh yeah, no and problem. I didn't Thank to, you. I'm not here to yep. harass. Oh no! Oh, just, no, don't worry. I just want to get. Like, get we're just trying to understand, you know, what, so we can better help you. I mean, that's well, I, we, the, I didn't come in game. here to help. I just wanted to know what the heck the cars were for because we we primarily go after the police. Mm -hmm. that, that's all. I do. My YouTube channel's got over 400 videos of me going after the cops. We have Was it the lights there's... on top that? Made no, no, you want no. To ask I, about I just so see them everywhere. Pass, I, I saw I saw them every year, and what the lady told us, and what I saw on the car, kind of didn't. It, it kind of conflicted with what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. Easy pass on a state car. Yeah. What, what oh, the I heck see. is easy pass on a state car for? Yeah. So I just wanted to get yeah. the info from the person. I would have been on my way, but yeah. they had to play. They dug their heels in like. Like well, jerks. They well, they're not off jerks. Guard. You come off guard, they, they, and they might not. They weren't even. They, they might they, not have known. They weren't even nowhere near receptive. Well, uh, like nowhere near receptive. Well, they're and I could pick yeah. up on that man mannerism really, really fast. Well, but they then might not know why Easy Pass is on the side of the cars too. <laughs> Because, well, well, they can, they why can tell me. Well, they, I they, don't know. Everybody why. told you the commissioner put it on. I have no That's idea why. Did they send you inside for more information? He just said you're going to have to talk to the administrator. Oh, okay. So well, they sent so they him and I asked, And then I asked them their names and they refused to give me their names. So, well, oh, I don't know all the rules and stuff. There was that. smoking over there. Which oh, they get smoking. Be between the two DOT cars right here, yeah. which I'm pretty sure is only 25 feet. 25 feet? At least. From the corner of the building? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It might even be less than that. Maybe. 50 over to the highway. Yeah, there's not many options. Yeah. Well, they were right here on the sidewalk with these cars. Up yeah. There. That's what we're smoking. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm not. I'm not about to infringe on people smoking. I think they should be able to do whatever they want to do. I'm not a smoker. But we have. Uh, we do have policy for that. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I don't care about the policy. <laughs> I just want to know what the heck did. Smoke. <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't think. Uh, you know. I just want to know what the heck the DOT cars are for because I see them literally all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. A lot of it's for the work and stuff for the people doing work. Now, I remember, the orange trucks. I, I remember when my aunt lived in Loudon, 
they had DOT stays. They like the, like it's been, how come they don't have those anymore? What do you mean state, no, state DOT, police? No. Yeah, they had a separate division of the state police that had a Department of Transportation division of the state police. The, their cars look different, and they, even the oh, uniforms no, are dark brown. I think you're, are you talking about uh, was, um, there was Department, Department of Motor Vehicles Motor had, vehicles, their, had yeah. their own... Like, like cops. the trucks, cops. yeah, yeah. yeah. The truck. we, we used to call them the blueberries. They used to drive a different color car, and then yeah. they got integrated into state, state police, police. Yeah. and yeah. they didn't, yeah, they changed the vehicles, but they weigh the trucks, they yeah. they yeah. watch the movement of freight, stuff oh, like okay. that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now they're part of state police, and that yeah. was, uh, I don't know, sure. Oh, well, no, they, went, no. they went together, no. then they went apart, and then they came back together Well, now they again. came back together yeah. again, and that was, when they came back together again, it was... At least five, six years ago. Also, it's, it's new. Recent. Yeah, they've always been under the de Department the of Safety. Department of Safety. Oh, the, Division the of overall motor, umbrella. motor Vehicles. They were. Yeah. Man, what a government we got. Wow. Yeah. Well, you guys have a great day. Thank you very much. Oh, we got kill eyes by the way. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, federal government's even worse. Right? Oh, I know. Yeah, we go after them too. Uh -huh. this, trust me, if I see an FBI agent, I'm all over them. Why are you going yeah. after police though so much? Um, back in 2009, well, 2006, uh, the Keene Police Department broke into uh, me and my girlfriend's house at the time. She was yeah. a Keene State College student at the okay, time. Yeah. I just did 11 months in Afghanistan, and they broke my jaw. You just did, okay, 11 months in. Okay. Yeah, they broke my jaw, um, cracked my eye socket, and put nine stitches inside my mouth, and they got the wrong house. And I've been uh, doing, uh, at the end of that, that, um, that lawsuit, it was a federal lawsuit yeah. in Concord. Um, it was like 2010 where they finally settled and it was like over yeah. 12, 13 depositions and stuff. Um, I met the guy, one of the co-founders of coplog.org, the national site, yeah. and I've been doing it ever since. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I happen to be extremely good at it. Yeah. Now, would you go to Afghanistan, eh, Afghanistan right out of uh, high school? No, I went into, uh, I actually went to the Newport, Rhode Island War College. Oh, um, to be to go in the chaplain corps program. Okay, yep. And then I went to the Annapolis to finish up. Yep. Well, I ended up going to Buds shortly thereafter, and it became mm -hmm. attached to a mobile comm unit. Oh, oh nice. yeah. well, thank you for serving. Your service. Yeah, I know. There's nothing service, good about yeah. it. Nothing good about it. Oh, yeah, thank well, you. they lie. They lie more than anybody I ever knew. Yeah, yeah. I know. I but I, I appreciate never seen, it nonetheless. Never seen nobody lied, stole, or murdered more people than I've ever seen in my own entire life in the United okay. States government, okay. using okay. us as a tool to do it. But that's a political statement. Yeah, yeah, it is. You're right. Yeah. 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 And I didn't catch your name. I'm sorry, sir. It's Ethan. It's Ethan. Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Ethan. Yeah. How are you yeah. doing? Yeah. 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 The state police really love us, especially that <laughs> <at> Troop B. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, they kind of avoid us like the plague. Uh -huh. right? Well, yeah, there was a, a one night we yeah. had a, it was like 20 below, and uh, I got into it with a, a troop of Murdick, which is, uh, ha got handled by, I ended up thought, thinking one of the cop was a girl, mm -hmm. Matthew Pratt, and it like spread through the troop. I guess they harassed him about it, because I thought it was a chick, but it was oh. a guy. So they kind of harassed him about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if you if you visit if you visit the YouTube channel that that yeah, video hard, right? yeah that yeah, video yeah. is on it yeah, okay. that video is you know entertaining. Of the one that was of the Rick calling him the, thinking yeah. it was a, actually me and the Henneker cop were kind of like going back and forth. No uh -huh. way, that was a girl. I'm like, yeah, I'm telling you, that was a chick. Was like, no way, it was a dude, man. That was a dude. Mm -hmm. So me and the like. <laughs> The sergeant for the Henneker Police Department was going back and forth for like 10 minutes. I wonder if it was a guy or a girl. It was funny. <laughs> you well, guys right, have a great day. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Yeah. Keep smiling. Take care. Oh, well. Thanks. Thank you.